day three of the vlog and it's Friday morning and it's been a busy morning at Sweatshed. Um, I was up at five, first session 6.30, uh, 9.30 session, 12 o'clock session. Good to see good numbers down for all the sessions. Um, just managed to nip out for some scram, had a back the jacket potato. Uh, it's fucking freezing outside. Um, yeah, so day three of the vlog. Um, uh, it's starting to sink in how many posts, 365 posts is, it's going to be a lot. Um, it's got me thinking it's I'm perhaps bitten off a bit more than I can chew, um, but I'm going to push on regardless. Um, yeah, it's kind of going to push me to start really sort of to work on my creativity and just working hard in terms of generating interesting content and making sure that I'm still providing value with the, with the posts that I'm making, not just posting shit for the sake of it, which I'm kind of concerned I might be doing this week. Um, but yeah, so I mean, um, I've made some notes for some ideas for future posts. I think that's going to help when I'm having days where I'm drawing blanks. Um, and yeah, I think um, at the moment there's no trail of thought really with the posts. I'm kind of just working on the consistency documenting stuff, thinking of ideas, getting used to editing and um, compiling the, the clips that I document in the day. And then I'm just gonna work on consistency for now. Um, for That might be like that for a week or so, two weeks maybe, maybe a month. I'm still gonna try and provide some sort of useful content in each post, um, but they're gonna probably be a little bit all over there and I'm okay with that. Um, and if you're cringing at this already and you're three days in and you've perhaps watched them all and you think this is absolute fucking toss, um, maybe come back in a few months and I might have the hang of it um, in fact come back in a few months I will have the hang of it they're going to be fucking slick as fuck and yeah I'll be you know a few weeks away from GMTV being on the phone asking me to come and be their morning presenter because I'm that fucking mint at presenting information um, so yeah so that's really my initial thoughts of, of uh, of, of what's going on, but I, I'm not going to be great at this. That's, that's the whole point of why I've, I've picked this challenge to try and get better. And it's it's okay to be shit at something, you know. So a lot of people avoid things that they're not good at because they know they're not good at it. It doesn't make them feel good. Um, talking to this camera now feels really uncomfortable. Knowing that even if five people watch this and they're like, "What the fuck is he going on about?" It's uncomfortable. You you concern what other people think about you or how they perceive your efforts and doesn't matter I don't give a shit if anyone watches this I'm doing this for me to get better at creating content and be, being more comfortable in front of the camera and speaking um, to a lens that potentially might be seen by a few people a hundred people who knows um, and then those people are gonna have thoughts about what they've seen positive and negative I've had some supportive comments I've had some stick already but I don't care because I've started something, I've committed to, to, to something, a task that I'm going to aim to get better at. And like with the handstand challenge that I did, when I did it every day and I started and I was pretty shit. And, you know, and, and compared to some people by the end, I was still pretty shit, but I was better than when I started. So the end product was better than the, the initial starting point. So I'm, I have every confidence that if I keep this challenge going, um, 365 days of posting something every day, creating some videos for YouTube and you know, online content in this in this fashion, they're going to get better. They've got to get better, right? Um, so yeah, I'm just maybe today's post was a you know commit to something, even if you're not going to be very good at it at the start. So this like this relates brilliantly to fitness. You know, you might not be great from the start. You might be really unfit, you might have absolutely zero strength, you might be, you know, if you're doing yoga, you might have zero flexibility, but that's good because the only way, the only place from there is up and, you know, there's no expectations. There's no, no I have no expectations when I make these videos. I know they're going to be a bit wishy-washy and a bit rough around the edges, but I'm okay with that. It's a fun experience and, you know, sometimes the journey is the destination, the journey of getting better at something is the actual destination. There's no end point. There's no like, right, I am now a master of yoga or a master of fitness or a master of creating YouTube content. I'm just really good at it or, you know, but there's always room for improve, improvement and this is how I'm, I'm teaching this, I'm, I'm treating this challenge. I just want to get better. So yeah, it's okay to be shit. It's exciting when you shit at something because the only way is up. 
and don't worry what other people are going to think about you. So in terms of this, I don't really care what people's opinions are of this. I hope they like it and I hope they get some good kind of good use from these videos. Um, and I'm sorry if you don't. Um, yeah, don't, don't worry what other people's thoughts are. Um, commit to something, challenge yourself, get outside your comfort zone. And yeah, just push yourself to do something new. It's okay to fail. At least you tried. A lot of people don't fucking even, a lot of people don't even attempt to do something different or outside the box. They just sit in like their little closed minded kind of box of like, if I step out of this box, someone's gonna have an opinion of me and perhaps it's gonna be a negative opinion. Just, so what? Stay in your box, no, you know, no, nothing ever exciting happened like staying in your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone and experience the world for, for what it has to offer. Um, I didn't really know what I was going to talk about. I think I've just gone on relatively useful rant there. Um, anyway, I'm going to, but yeah, I hope there's some trailer thought there. Just need to get some of that off my chest. Um, it's okay to be shit. Uh, for the rest of this clip, I'm going to post uh, something useful. If you didn't get anything from that rant, uh, it will be a chest and tricep workout that I've done. Um, shut that up. Yep, um, a chest and tricep workout that I've done. Like I said at the, uh, yesterday, I'm currently doing two body parts a day. I'm only doing one exercise per body part, and making sure I'm kind of getting the, the most juice out of that one exercise a day per body part, and it's, it's working. I'm sore as fuck today. Like, from yesterday, just all that pull-up stuff, my back, my biceps are killing me. Um, so yeah, and so this, this, um, this chest and tricep one, um, it's press-ups, um, and, tricep extension, dumbbell tricep extension lying on your, lying on your back on the floor. Um, so the, the push-ups, you're gonna do four sets of between eight and 12 reps with tempo. So we're gonna have a, a tempo count down and a tempo count up. There's gonna be no hold at the bottom, no hold at the top. And depending on your ability with press-ups, you're gonna vary what the tempo is. So I did three down, three up. So a three down to the floor, no pause, three up. And I did four sets of 10. Um, and it was tough by the end. But you know, you could quite easily manipulate that tempo to being two down, two up, or three down, one up, or whatever you want. I, I try to have my work set um, equal 60 seconds worth of work. So three down, three up, six seconds, times 10 reps is 60 seconds. So 45 to, 45 to 60 seconds worth of work per set is what you'd probably be aiming for on this. Um, I did four sets of 10 with three down, three up and yeah felt it big time and then on the tricep extension um, you're going to start with a weight that's relatively taxing but it's going to be a warm-up weight i get i did the same thing again i did a three up so three count up three count down for 10 reps um did my initial weight went up did it again went up did it again went up did it again and then to the to the point where i got to a weight where i probably couldn't go up and successfully get another 10 reps. Um, I think that weight was seven kilos, yeah, so seven kilos. Um, and then what I did is I, well, I took 10%, so you wanna work within 10% of the weight that you failed at, so depending on what that is for you. So for me it was, you know, six was the next weight down. So I managed four sets within 10% of that top weight. Um, so the first set I did was a four, warm up, five, warm up. I did a set of six, then I did a set at seven, wouldn't be able to go up from seven. Um, so I did two more at six. So I got my four work sets done at six, seven, six, six. Um, and they were four sets of 10 again, three seconds down, three seconds up. Um, I did a really shit job of explaining that. I hope you understood that. If you have any questions with regards to that tricep exercise, then message me because I'm waffled on enough here now. Anyway, I'm gonna add on the exercises at the end of this so you can just see how to perform them. And yeah, catch you tomorrow. Note to self, stop waffling about sets, reps, and 10%. Speak to you tomorrow, guys.